All right, we're going to do a hypothesis test for population proportion. Um, again, I've got all the pre-digested statistics so we don't have to use raw data. Um, you can't, I, eventually I'll put one up where we use just raw data and put it into the list so that you get to see that as well. Um, I need to work out the calculator on camera first. I don't know how that's going to work. Anyway, um, our given data is H sub zero or H naught or null hypothesis, whatever it is you call it, is P equals 0 0.3. Our alternate hypothesis, or H sub 1, is P is greater than 0 0.3. We're also given N is 200, X is 75, Alpha is 0 0.05. Now, since this is a proportion or population proportion um, hypothesis test, we're going to use the Z tables. Um, if you have a textbook that's newer, I don't know about the older ones, but I know at least in the newer ones they have on the bottom of the Z tables page an area called hypothesis testing critical values. And you can just find alpha 0.05. And then you have to know if it's going to be a right-tailed, left-tailed, or two-tailed test. This is going to be a right-tailed test. You can always tell by your greater than or less than sign. It's going to point to whichever way the tail is. So for a right-tailed test, at a confidence level or a confidence uh, value of 0.05, um, the critical value is 1.645. If you don't have that little cheat sheet on the bottom of your Z table, you can just go into the body of your Z tables and find 0 .0500. But on mine, that's not there. You have a 0 .0495 and a 0 .0505, so you split the difference, and it gives you, it actually gives you a negative 1.645, but that would be for the area to the left of 0 .05, and we want the area to the right of 0 .05, so you do 1 minus, 1 minus 0 .05 gives you 0 .95, you find 0.95 in the body of your z-tables, you get 1.645. I'm sorry I got off on a tangent there. Hope it helped. Hope you didn't get confused. Um, so you're going to put that into the calculator. That's all you need to find, to finish the problem, to test the hypothesis. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the equation, what the equation is as well. Since we're using the z-tables, we're going for z-naught. And the equation is p-hat minus p over p times 1 minus p over n, and that's actually a square root. So, it's a little tricky. Um, p hat is going to be x over n. So it's going to be 75 over 200 minus 0.3 0.3 to eliminate confusion that's 
going to be over 0.3 times 1 minus 0.3 over 200. Syntax is very important again. Um, if you can't get the syntax worked out, because it's a lot of parentheses, and if you don't close them right, I mean, knowing where to open them is not the problem, and knowing where to close them is where it gets tricky. Um, if you can't get it figured out, I work from the bottom. I'll do this. Well, first you do 3 times 1 minus 0 0.3, 0 0.3 times 0 0.7, divide that by 200, then take a square root of that number. Um, on the TI-83, 84, um, once you get that, you can just use second, uh, second, and then the negative key is your answer button. So then you can work out this top part and then minus the square root of all this garbage, and you're gonna come up with. 2.3146. That's going to be your test. Statistic Z. 2.3146. That's that's what you get from this equation. Now, if you go into the calculator and you go. Let me write this down in case you can't understand me well, which is not too far out of the question. So if you go to the calculator, hit the stat button, then you're going to scroll to the right to tests, then you're going to scroll down to one prop. Z test. Evidently someone's at the door. I'll be right back. By the time I got there, no one was at the door. So you go one prop Z test, and you fill in your P is 0.3, then N X. That's all. And that's all it asks for. Let me just double check. Yeah, P, X, and N, and then make sure you tell it right tail test. So the P is actually going to be on the other side of the symbol on the calculator, but just go by the direction of the greater than or less than, and then go down to calculate. You can go to draw if you want to see the curve. I've actually never done it. Calculate it. It's going to give you your Z. It's also going to give you a P value. P value is 0 0.0103 and it's also going to give you a p hat don't get them confused p hat is point three seven five and we're actually not going to use that that could have been used for the equation but we're past that now. So from this information that the calculator and our computations of the equation tell us a couple things. Um, this was a claim. I did not state that earlier. But that's part of the given that 
H1 is the claim. Um, our test statistic can, is tested by the critical value. Since it's a right-tailed test, anything to the right of 1.645 is going to be rejected, which that is. So those two numbers are going to test against one another. Um, the p-value, 0.0103, is less than the alpha, 0 0.05, also tells you you're going to reject, reject the null hypothesis or H naught. But let's draw the curve, just because that's the kind of guy I am. All right. It's a beautiful curve. Right tailed test. That line rep represents critical value 1.645 going to shade this so anything to the right right tail of 1.645 will be rejected RZ is 2.3146 which I'm going to round to 2.31 be over here somewhere that is Z naught equals 2.31. Remember this area is your alpha 0 0.05 of the curve. Remember everything under the curve is 1, so that's 5% of the curve. The Z the test statistic Z falls into the critical 5% which will reject H0. This is our artificial 0 0.3 um, represent with 0 so that we can use the Z table uh, Z score. So our decision still not, that looks right to me, I don't know how that's Someone tell me how to spell that, right? Um, our decision is to reject H naught, and our conclusion is that there is. sufficient evidence to support the claim. Claim being that the proportion is greater than 